Okay, this is measuring segments. Um, this is part one. So this is kind of section 1.2. So first of all, let's look at a line segment. Remember, a line segment, like line segment AB, okay, it has a length measured in meters, feet, miles, centimeters, whatever you want it to be, right? And the length of it is something we would say like this. Okay, this is line segment AB, and this is the length of line segment AB. So this is an equal sign, right, with no bar up top. So we can talk about the length of segments, and we can just measure them. Um, we can define segments to be congruent with each other, okay? So the symbol for congruent, AB, is congruent with CD, meaning line segment AB is congruent with line segment CD, if, if the length of AB equals the length of CD, okay? They're the same length. That's what it means to be congruent. Congruent. So congruent line segments have equal lengths. Okay, that's not bad. Um, and then what else can we do? Well, so we can talk about line segments being congruent. We know they're equal. We can talk about the length of a line segment. There's the notation again. And we can also talk about the segment addition postulate. Now that sounds really complicated. Segment addition postulate. It's just fancy, okay? Don't overcomplicate it. So let's take a line segment with three points. We'll say A and B and then C. Okay, three points. Right, a, B, and C are all collinear. B is what they would call between, right? This is between. I didn't tell you it's exactly in the middle, meaning I didn't say it was the midpoint. I just said B is between A and C. And then what could you say about the lengths of these segments? And how many segments do you see here, right? Small segment, little, se there, <laughs> small segment, medium segment. And then if you looked at segment AC, well, segment AC is actually the longest. So what is the segment addition partial says? Well, it says something pretty obvious. It says that the length of segment AB plus the length of BC has to equal AC. Again, that's not magic. This isn't something you had to look up in a geometry book and be like, oh my goodness, I can't believe where did they get that from, right? Don't overcomplicate geometry sometimes. This is just saying that if you take the first part, and you add the second part that you equal the total. And I hope, hopefully that's pretty obvious at this point that if this is three inches and this is five inches, that the whole thing is then eight inches. And we set up some scenarios where you can use some algebra to solve this. So let's pretend I told you that AB had a length of two X plus seven and BC had a length of x minus 1, and AC had a length of 5x minus 4. And what if I said I want you to define, I don't know, find the length of BC? And again, the segment addition postulate kind of, kind of lays it out for you. Just take what you know the first segment is, 2x plus 7, add it to what you know the second segment is, x minus 1, and set it equal to what you know that the total has to be. The total uh, length of line segment is 5x minus 4. I'm going to combine like terms on this side and get 3x plus 6 equals 5x minus 4. I'm going to notice that I have 5x's here and 3 here, so I'm going to move all the x's to this side. Okay, 5x and 3x is going to make 2x, and I'm going to move that 4 over there and make 10, and then I'm going to divide by 2 and get 5 equals x. And again, that's not your solution. I actually asked for... How long is BC? And it turns out that BC, if you plug in five here, is four. Okay? Now, I wanna make a point. You're gonna have this happen all the time. Do you see my drawing? Do you see how my drawing looks like AB is smaller than BC? But right here, I just figured out that BC was four, and I didn't, but I could have. I could have plugged X in here and figured out that AB was 17. So I'm claiming that that's 17 and that's four. And you're like, oh my, I don't, that, does, that can't be right. 
that doesn't look like this is you know bigger um, but you have to go with the data it doesn't matter whether it's a, a state test or one of my tests or a canvas quiz every now and then we'll come up with equations that may or may not exactly match the picture now again it's in, in, in most of the time, I'm going to draw the picture so that you can make some reasonable um, things. But in, in, when in terms of geometry, you have to go with how things are labeled. And in this case, the, the, this determines everything. So this is 17. We said this was 4. And if you want to check to make sure that the total is actually 21, take X and plug it in here. 5 times 5 is 25. 25 minus 4 is indeed 21. And this whole process checks out. First segment plus second segment equals total. And again, you can do it with variables, you can do it with numbers, you can do these unknown problems. But in, in the end, you know, we have to talk about notation of what it means for something for a line segment to have a certain length. We can talk about line segments being congruent. But the segment addition postulate hopefully says something very obvious that. We're taking the first part plus the second part to equal the total. And in this case, I give you an algebra situation. I could have given you something else. So let's let's try to draw one more of these. Um, okay, let's take K, K, U, R, W, and S have all of these line segments okay and let's say that you know that this distance is 22 so you know that the line segment kr is 22 you know that this distance is 14 and you know this distance rs is 30 okay what can you tell me? And I'm going to put a little slash here and I'm going to say that, you know what? That's true. So let me say what I've actually said over here. So what I'm telling you is that KU is congruent to UR. KR is 22. RW is 14. And RS is 30. And again, me telling you this and me telling you this are kind of the same thing. Okay, so what can we do? What can we find? Well, if we know this whole thing is 22 and we know these two line segments are congruent, then we know that they have to be 11 and 11, right? Half of 22. We also know that if this whole thing is 30, but this is 14, then this guy has to be 16. It's kind of like the reverse um, uh, segment addition postulate. If you know the total and you know one of the parts, well, then you know the other part because you know these two parts have to add up to 30. And so we can do questions like this. Now, this wasn't an, an extremely difficult one, but this at least gets us thinking about different things we can do with line segments and the addition postulate. Okay, hopefully this got you a good start on that. And then um, when we want to look at the distance on a coordinate grid, uh, I'd, I'd ask you just to check out the next video.